Okay, so based on this, now we know in ARDS there is very poor compliance because compliance, remember, it's the stretchability of the alveola. And look here, because all the fluids here and inside, there is less space for tidal volume to come here, right? And there is the alveolus is unable to stretch properly because the fluid. And that means the alveolar pressure will go higher, right? You're trying to give volume. There is no space for the volume. The alveolus cannot stretch. And that will lead to increase the plateau pressure, right? So that's what poor compliance, it's not stretchable. That will lead to what we call volume trauma and barotrauma. That's why we recommend in ARDS to keep tidal volume at 6 or less mil per kg of ideal body weight. So that's the fair strategy to prevent volume trauma and also to help reduce the plateau pressure and barotrauma because they go hand in hand. Because again, now there is less healthy alveoli, and that means in general less space for tidal volume. So the poor compliance will lead, as you see, all of them goes hand in hand. And it goes and causes barotrauma. So you, our goal in ARDS is to keep plateau pressure at or less than 30 centimeter H2O. And go and check how do we, uh, on my video on plateau pressure, how do we check the inspiratory pause maneuver <coughs> um, and all of that about plateau pressure. But these are our goals. This is one, this is two in ARDS. Of course, the best treatment for all of this is to treat the underlying problem that caused the ARDS. Because that will stop the whole process here and alveoli will start going from this stage here to healthy alveoli again. So the best treatment treat the underlying cause. But we know in ARDS it takes time for the lung to heal, for the inflammation to stop. So you need to do these supportive measures. In the next video, we'll talk about the atelic trauma recruitment and de-recruitment in ARDS. So please make sure you watch my videos on volume trauma, on barotrauma, and atelic trauma, as well as on plateau pressure, um, because I'm relying that you know how to work on those and you have watched those videos. Thank you.